It's your girl Kita. Welcome. Today I'm just going to be going over where I've been, what I've been up to, and what I've been doing basically. Where Because I've been MIA for months and I know you guys probably are wondering where I've been. So if you're interested in where I've been, um, some makeup talk, girl chat, uh, just keep watching this video. Please guys, I know, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's just jump right into the video guys. So guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Kwanzaa, <laughs> all that good stuff. So, where I've been, I want to just say thank you to all my subscribers that are hanging in there with me. I still can't believe I still have 116 subscribers. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate the support. Um, today, I'm just going to talk about where I've been and what I've been up to, basically. That's my dog in the background. If you hear any noise, she wants to leave out the room and I'm not stopping the camera right now to let her out. So she's going to have to wait a minute. So like I was saying, guys, um, where I've been for the last six months, as you can see, it's a brand new background and everything has changed. I've moved, guys. Um, I've basically just been working on my life. I turned 35 a couple of months ago and I just wanted to better my life like just get myself together um i believe well the women around me that i grew up around were strong women they had their own houses they had their own cars um they had their own basically they own everything so i just felt like you're 35 it's time for you to get your life together and boss up a little bit so that's what i've been doing i have learned an extreme hard lesson over the last seven months well was a lesson I went and, well I guess it was yes definitely was a lesson because um the last seven months I have really really been working on my credit now I told you guys I've been saving like crazy to move to get myself together basically that was what I was doing but I just kept hearing in the process of trying to move I just kept hearing no 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 so it just made me step back a little bit and get some things together. I had to get my credit together. I think my credit score was at a 534, like seven, six months ago when I first started. Out with the little credit journey process. It's still a process. I'm still working on my credit and all that good stuff. But I call it a journey. That's why I'm calling it a journey because I'm not even nowhere where I want to be with my credit. But I am definitely proud of myself. I improved my credit to almost 100 points. I want to say, well, more than 100 points because it was at a 534. Now it was almost at a 700. So I just want to talk about the importance of credit, especially in the black community, our community. Um, we fail to realize how, port, how important, excuse me, guys, how important credit can be. Like, whoo, the last few months, like I told you guys, have taught me a major lesson about credit. I even had to let my kids know about this lesson, like, Make sure you pay off all them credit cards from when you in your 20s and your 30. I mean, your early 20s because I'm 35 now. But all of the spending and the stupid things that I was doing when I was, of course, a young, a young mom. When I, especially when I first had my son, I applied for all these credit cards. It was just a bunch of stupid stuff that I never paid off. And, it, you know, that stuff sticks on your credit. So it just was a disaster with trying to move. But the news, the good news, guys, is I've moved. I'm much more in a better place. It was never a mental situation or like a downer situation. It's just been really me focusing on the grind and trying to move, basically. So now God has blessed me. I'm definitely blessed. I have a new house, a brand new house. If you guys are interested in a room tour or a house tour, just let me know in the comments. I'll give you guys that. But that's basically what I've been up to, trying to fix my credit. I even I haven't even worn makeup in months, guys. But I have been definitely taking care of this good, good skin. <laughs> but I haven't been wearing makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. This is the first time I've worn makeup since like my birthday. And my birthday was in September, and it's like December. So, like I was saying, Happy New Year to so everybody. I hope everybody is well. If you're watching this video. I promise you guys, I am going to get on a set schedule and I am going to be here. This year, we're going to bang it out. Now, I do have some 
BoxyCharm and Ipsy, I mean, Ipsy subscriptions that, well, I'm not going to do the ones that I've been missing, of course. That's just, that would be just way too much. So what I want to do is, my next video, I'm going to just go over the products I got in this, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm thinking about December. In January, we're going to do those products. The next video, all the little products, some of the favorite products that I've been using and what I've been using to take care of my skin the whole time that I've been out. Because your girl has not been missing her skin resumes. I've been missing in makeup, but I have not been missing with taking care of the skin and all that good stuff. Um, that's important, by the way. You should take care of your skin and take care of yourself. As I told you guys before, I'm, I'll am i be 36 this year, so I'm definitely more into making sure my skin is clear. Um, you just want to look young and youthful as much as possible. So, I'm just going to wrap the video up, guys. But that's where I've been. I know it sounds crazy. Like, oh, that's all. But that's what it's been. And I've been, like I said, like really grinding and doing overtime to one, move and get my, uh, sorry, guys. To move, I moved and I've just been trying to get my credit together. So, now that the move is done and got my credit it's not where I want it to be at 100% like I said but it's definitely at a great start it's almost at 7 so I'm back and I promise you guys I am here to stay so I just want to go over some of the products I used for my face today if anybody's interested just to you know kill some time and give a little bit more of video time if anybody's interested in the process oh Excuse me guys, and the products also. So this is called Esthetica. Esthetica. Forgive me, I'm probably saying it wrong. But I got this in a boxy charm. Um, I think this was December's though. And as of course you guys can see, I use the darkest shade to contour my face. So I do like this little cream contour. Um I like cream contour anyway it gives the face to me a more natural look um i just like when i use a cream contour to set the contour guys i use the true complexion black radiance it's still a ride or die for me it's cheap it's not as drugstore worthy and yeah and it will never let you down for us sisters meaning i mean they have it in every shade from the lightest to the darkest but you know how i feel about my products and my woman of color my products and all that good stuff so today guys it's truly i want to say a fancy face almost just about i don't have the powder but um the setting powder you guys have seen it on my channel plenty of times i use my fancy setting powder i've used my fancy foundation if you're interested concealer the powder bronzer i got a new highlighter guys it came in my ipsy i want to say my ipsy Shout out to Ipsy. They've been doing a damn thing with these packages lately. They Fenty Beauty. They sent me a lipstick a couple of months ago. Um, yes, and your girl has not stopped with the subscriptions and all that good stuff. I just was really working on, like I said, getting my credit together and life stuff. Like, I'm 35. I got to get my life together as a woman and set an example for my kids, basically. You don't want to be... You don't want to be telling them to get their lives together, do this and do that, and you got to practice what you preach. But anyway, I use this to prime. It's the Fenty um, Pro Matte Soft Filter Retouch Primer. It's been a while, guys, so I'm a little nervous on this camera, so forgive me if I'm slurring and um, messing up words. Just to got to get used to the camera thing again. But the uh, Black Radiance to set the face, the Black Opal. True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. Love this, love this. Drugstore Blush. You go blush I use was the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. Shout out to Rihanna. Girl, these products are the bomb. And of course, to finish the lip. I just used my Fenty Gloss. I don't know where I put it at. Oh, here it is. Fenty Gloss. Cream Gloss, I love it. Fenty um, in the shade Single for my lips. <clears throat> dark lip pencil brows were from Fenty also guys and I use my favorite eyeliner of all time Kat Von D the tattoo liner 
black opal for the eyes. I don't have any uh, fancy products for the eyes yet, but yes. My ride or die, um, <laughs> I like to use this. This is like an everyday palette type thing. Uh, this is uh, the shade, I, I mean, this is the palette Iconic from Black Opal. It's a bunch of little um, browns and uh, copper tones in there for women of color, of course, and our skin tone. And that's basically how I got this little face. I'll be back with plenty more videos, guys. Also, guys, the lashes that I have on today, I have a subscription with the Dollar Lash Club. These are their mate lashes. Let me get a little close up to the camera. I hope y'all can see my lashes. But uh, they are Cassie and it's one pair. Um, I've, I've been loving the Dollar Lash Club. They have been hooking me up the lashes, the lashes. I just, like I said, um, I got plenty of so much stuff to introduce to the channel, guys. It's been a while since I've been using makeup, so I'm just eager and ready to get back into the flow of things. As I said, thank you everybody that has stuck in there, hung with my channel, and just supported me. I love you guys so much. I will be back with plenty more videos. No more breaks. It's grind time. Let's go. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for always watching and supporting. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye. This show, yeah. Remy boys and girls.